Alright gang, welcome back to the Charlton Career Mode, where last time out we did not do particularly well. Two 3-0 losses. And as you can see here, the game is currently reminding us that Carlin Grant, a graduate from the Charlton Youth Academy, played a blinder against us as West Brom thrashed us 3-0 at the Hawthorns. We are struggling to play the game at the moment. I'm really struggling to play the game. We have a game against Middlesbrough at the Valley. They are in a very similar league position to us. So they're 10th, they got one more point and they've only lost two games this season, whereas we've lost, we've lost four. Or sorry, that's not true. We've lost one game this season. So that game against West Brom was actually our first loss. So we've drawn four games and lost one now. Okay, fair enough. So anyway, we're going to play this game against Middlesbrough right now at home. I'm hoping the home advantage is going to help us out. However, we're going to have to do a lot of rotating due to the fact that we have a lot of players that are very tired. The other thing is that our internationals were out last time. They are back, which is good. Um, so McGilvery can come back in goal. Although Kelleher has gone up now to a 70 rated. That's good. Charlie Barker is going to have to start. Anyway, we'll get into the full disclosure of the lineup as we start the game guys all right so the Charlton team guys McGilvery and goal returning from international duty as well as Luke Jeffcott up front we are rotating Lavelle Charlie Barker and Purrington into the back Purrington into the back four Pepe Lou comes in Texera comes in as does Jaya Simi for rotation purposes let's see how our opposition line up today so Stojanovic in goal for them Fisher, Hall, Holmes and Coulson at the back. I actually haven't heard of any of those defenders apart from uh, Hall. Wing, McNair, Amiobi in the midfield. Some really good players. Duncan Watmore, I believe that is, up front as well. So they are lining up strong. I'm hoping we can at least not lose 3-0. That would be progress to me. I'm not going to lie. Amiobi on the ball. Turns me. Coulson. Good header from Lavelle. That is what we like with him. Texera gets the pass off to Jeff Cott. Oh, that's a dodgy tackle, you know. It's a yellow card. Could have been worse, potentially, there for Paddy McNair. That was very dirty. Texera. Okay, let's play this one over to Jayasimi. Back to Texera. Texera. Oh, there's so much space there for Forster Kasky. His shot is blocked. Ah, there's too many... Not enough of you moving. You're all just... Look at them just all standing still. There's a little pass there, though. Texera. Through to Jeff Court. Dummy. And it's not enough. Hall's there to make a good tackle. Forrest Kasky, you've got to get closer to that, mate. You've got to get closer to that. Because all of a sudden, McGilvery with a good save, they're going to have a chance. Forrest Kasky not doing his defensive work there at all. Just... Problems, man. Problems. Why are you backing off? Okay, Kirk's there to recover. Texera. He's been tackled. Is that clean, ref? Are you sure, ref? Okay. All right, half-time. Gameplay is just causing me all sorts of issues again. Um, I can't tell, like, the trajectory of the ball. I could just change the camera angle, I guess, but um, I'm going to save that until later on. I'm going to try my best because this visually looks a lot better. It's just tough to know what to do at what moment because it's the perspective is a bit weird. That's got to be a red card, ref. What are you doing? Yes, it is a red card as well. It absolutely is from Darnell Fisher. That is so irresponsible. <laughs> no need to foul him like that. He just came over and just crunched him, scissored him. Nah, I didn't really... It wasn't really a scissor, but still, ridiculous timing on that challenge, and it is a red card. So we have a free kick now. It's Charlie Kirk over it for some reason. Um, I definitely don't want him over it. I'd rather have Forster Kasky, I believe. Okay, so quickly, otherwise it will take, make me take it. Okay, here we go. Forster Kasky. We're going to give that a go. What happens there? Nothing much. Good save. Yeah, that's going to be a goal, isn't it? Counter-attack football straight through the middle. It's a goal for Middlesbrough, even though they've just had a man sent off. And even though we read everything that they did. I mean, Fanway was in the right position here. He stepped up, McGilvery dives, and the shot goes over him nice and powerfully by Watmore. It's poor from McGilvery, actually. Lavelle. Look at this space for Forster Kasky. Here we go. Texera. What a finish from Texera. The man who comes in for Vicino today has scored a scorcher there with his left foot. Has a little cup of tea on the pitch with Forster Kasky. And finally, I've scored in the, for the first time in about three or four games. It's a really good goal as well. Lots of space for us. Poor defending from them. Left foot of Texera. Past the keeper. 
emphatically. Oh, his, his foot was very close to it there, the defender. But we score it, 1-1. One, one. Oh, they've given the ball away, Pepe Lou. Texera. Look at this, Jeff Cott, he's got a score. Jeff Cott! Jeff Cott, what the hell? Man's got a hat-trick last episode. And then delivers that. I'm not happy with you, Luke. Not happy. Double sub now for the Addicts. We are going to bring on Albie Morgan in place of Jake Forster Kasky. And also Burns, our super youngster, our wonder kid, on the left for Charlie Kirk, who's been a bit absent and also is a bit tired. Pepe Lou, good pass. Into Texera, into Jeff Cott. This time, hits the bar and away. Oh, we're, we, we've brought on some fresh legs now to scare the 10 men of Middlesbrough. That was a terrible pass. What are they going to do with it? Just keeping possession, turning, taking about 27 touches. Pavero with the pass to Crooks. What more do you want from your goalkeeper? Do you like that? That was good, wasn't it? That was on the spot as well. What a save from Craig McGilvery. Little turn, what more? Why? We're just defensively, like, the AI is just all over the place, man. Lavelle. It's Tavernier on. Good player. Look at this. Lots of space. Bang. Texera to Jeff Cott. Jeff Cott! It's wide. Jeff Cott's finishing is all over the place right now. Going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but that is another one that we should be at least putting on target. Ugh. Gutted. Every time they attack, I feel like they're going to score, and they are about to, aren't they? Oh, great save, McGilvery. Super save. Undefendable. Undefendable. All of their attacks are undefendable, to be fair. Barker. Long one to Jayasimi. Lots of space here. In the in there. Jeff Cott. Jeff Cott. Yes! Finally! We score! We're Lukey Jeff Cott. Yes, come on. I'm so glad that that's just happened. I'm getting involved. Yes, come on, the boys. It doesn't feel like I deserve this. It's, it's definitely helped by the 10 men. But, hey, we're going to enjoy it whilst we can. We are going to enjoy it whilst we can. 2-1 to Charlton. Middlesbrough, another one of those games similar to Ipswich. It was always a good close game when we played each other in the Premier League and whatnot. Oh, that's a good finish from Jeff Cott. Off his left foot. Just cuts it into the top left-hand corner there. Sort of a scooped finesse type finish. Lovely. Improvised. 2-1 Charlton. Now let's hold on to it. Okay, 88 minutes gone. Charlie Barker off. And this man deserves a standing ovation. He's been brilliant. And Okazaki on to make his debut at right back here. So let's see if he can just sort of have a touch maybe in this last few minutes. Do I see me let that go? Why has he let that go? Oh, Okazaki was there to make the tackle. Speak of the devil. Well done, Okazaki. Sharp and alert. Here's Burns. Here's Burns looking for the... Lofted through ball, and he's done really well, actually, with the direction. Five minutes of added time, by the way. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. What more do you want than a victory at the Valley against Middlesbrough? What have you, what have you done? Okay, we're so lucky. Bro, please let me change player. I swear to God. My, this game is not, it's not, it doesn't work. The game doesn't work. You just have to you just have to watch when they attack you. You really do. Jesus, man. All right, let's play this out to Okazaki. And honestly, we know what to do here. I'm not even feeling guilty about this. We are running up and down parallel on the pitch. And we are letting the ref blow that full-time whistle like it's nobody's business. There we go. 2-1 to Charlton against Middlesbrough. Somehow we've come away with a win there. Um, again, the 10 men helped us. If uh, Who was it now? Fisher hadn't made that ridiculous rash challenge. I don't know if we would have come out on top there. But we do. You know, It's a 2-1 win. I don't want to be in a position where I'm papering over the cracks. But at the end of the day, we've won it. Luke Jeffcott, we kept him on. We persevered even though he missed a lot of chances. And in the end, he was the one who made the difference with that last minute winner or 86 minute winner. And I would be surprised if we got good ratings here because I don't feel like we played particularly well. So let's have a look at our ratings. Um, yeah, again, all sort of mid to high sixes with a few exceptions. Obviously, Texera with the goal. Jeff Cole with his goal elevates his rating up to a 7.4. And McGilvery, yeah, made some fantastic saves for us. Colson was their best player, allegedly. And what more, of course, with the goal for them as well on a 7.9. So it's very weird, even though Luke Jeffcott, like I haven't been that impressed with him overall, like he misses a lot of chances. He is actually third or sort of second top scorer after the joint top of Ravel Morrison and Tony. 
Um, Charlton's stuck in rut. We just won. Just, sorry, I just saw that news article that said we're stuck in a rut. See that? Why are we stuck in a rut? We just won. We're up to, we're in the table 10th. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're hovering. We're still in a healthy-ish position. But the gameplay is, is tough right now. I'm having to get used to the update. I will get there. So bear with me. But at the moment, it's very difficult. Now, the idea would be to put ourselves in a position where we can be in and around the top six come January. So we are going to sim this one. In fact, Sheffield Wednesday away. We're going to quick sim this one. I might end up regretting that. It's a 2 0 away win for Chino on the score sheet twice. Player ratings wise, a 9.9 .9 for Vicino. Texera, Maggi, and Jayasimi all found their way onto the pitch from the bench. Oh, that's a really good team performance against Sheffield Wednesday, who obviously got promoted with us. So that's wonderful news. And that puts us up into six, although we've just, as time's gone on, been pushed down into seventh. I think what I want to do is get into this Brentford game, which is the next one, and probably play this one. Again, it's going to be a really tough game. We've seen really difficult games against West Brom. Uh, even that Middlesbrough game wasn't easy at all. But we're going to give it a go. We, we, the only way to learn how to get better at the game is to keep playing it, I guess. So we're going to get into this game now against Brentford. So before this game, we can see that Maggi has gone up to a 70 on the bench. So he's progressing nicely. Jai see me up to a 71. And I think that is it. Oh, Britain has got himself up to a 71 as well. So again, we're looking good. We just need to keep on top of this Brentford team. Oh, look at us. We're seventh and sixth. So this is a real playoff contending game. You know, it's two teams that are going to want to end up in the top six. Um, Brentford obviously have the experience of having been in the Premier League. So it's going to be tough, but we're going to get into it. Come on. Chino's oh, taken that. That's fine. Britain to Leko. Leko in the box. Leko shoot. Leko, what a goal! Easy in the first few minutes here at the Valley. So much space for Jonathan Leko. Look, he's flexing on you, Brentford. Premier League last year. Don't know about all that. It's a great start for Charlton. Hey, I can't get too cocky too soon. We know this. We have been humbled before. We will be humbled again. But that is a great little move between Callum Britton and Johnny Leko down the right hand side. Good finish. Really good finish. Power and precision equals 1-0 Cholton. Keeper actually kind of melted there. He sunk into the ground as that shot came in. But we'll take it. Johnny Leko is humping the floor in a way there, isn't he? Sort of sinister in a way. Oh, great pass. It's hit the bar. I was literally singing. Oh, people wait a lifetime for a moment like this and then they've had a chance they've got another one now Ivan Tony top scorer so far good save Ke why is Kelleher in goal I've accidentally put Kelleher in goal that's fine he's made a good save there he's made a cracking save there from Onyeka oh beautiful stuff from Kelleher all right I, I, it was an accident but it's it's worked out so far let's get this away good there Kelleher I've just been talking you up and you've let that in, you scoundrel. You flimsy-handed, wet, soggy biscuit. Not, no, no, that wasn't, no. Oh, do you know what? Look, we've conceded. Why, what? Kelleher, what the hell? Well, here it is again. What, you have to say, it's the, the corner comes in. The danger area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. He's gone like this. Kelleher, please, let me see it from this angle. He can get there. He can get there, surely. Am I, am I crazy? Kelleher, I literally just bigged you up. And you've done that. All right. Two, what, sorry. One, one, not two, two. 12 minutes gone. He's giving it away. Dobson. Straight through Leko. Take your time. It's a shit pass as well. He scored a goal. But that doesn't mean... Oh, wait. Have we just got a foul? Hey, don't worry, Leko. It's all forgiven. No, we haven't. Oh, Leko, you're shit. Terrible pass from him. All right. We've won that. Back to Yanel. Over the top. In one foul swoop. Tony with the touch. Bella Kotchap on the recovery. Excellent defending. And, ooh, Britain. Thatcher's Britain does really well there. We've still got the ball. All right. Forster Kasky. Over the top. That's good from Britain. Wait, what happened? Is this a second yellow? Why have you stopped the game then? Because I had the ball, ref. Dodgy, where did they get these referees from? Really little, these little ref caves. They just... All gather in huddles and talk about how shit they're going to referee their next match. All right, straight through to Jeffcott. Okay, it's fallen to Forster Kasky, who tries the, the dummy. It's a pen! Okay, baby cakes. 
You just don't know that... Wait, who's my penalty taker? Is it not even a... It's offside. It's not a pen. Oh, I was ready to do a little baby cakes related quip. Don't worry. Never mind. I'll save it for another day. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's offside, isn't he? Pacino's offside. He saved it anyway, and he is offside. They gave the ball away there. Pacino should have scored it, and he should have kept himself offside. Look, as soon as we got the ball, he just, like, ran offside. Come on. Be more alert. Be more savvy. More more football intelligent, boys. Leco over the top. Can we get there? It's a good volley. And it was onside, and Rea makes himself nice and big and gets the save, although Pacino's going to put in a corner. And we've still got it. Charlie Kirk. Okay. Should we take a shot? Collage Shack. No. Nope. Jeff Cott. For Leco. Shrugs off the one player. Win that Forster Kasky, you lemon. He's not gone for it properly. And I think that might... No, he's still got it. Okay, Jeff Cott, turn. No, we've lost it now. No, we haven't. Pacino. <laughs> Inside. Forster Kasky, shoot. We've still got it. Forster Kasky, go. Oh, finally, we've been dispossessed. Why have we not scored, Buemo? Brilliant player at this level. Callum Britton wins the header against Yanel. Please, somebody get to Tony. So much more alert than you defenders. Here's Yanelt. Puts it across. Away from Kolozashak. Dobson. Uh-oh. Mbwemo. Mbwemo and Yanelt linking up. Belakotchap with one block. And luckily that goes wide. Well done, Belakotchap. That's nice. Let's keep it going. Let's try and get one more attack here. Jeffcott. Over the top for Leko. Get the good control, Leko. Get that good, good. Onto your left. Cross. Volley. Not good enough. All right, that is going to be it for the first half, guys. 1-1. This has been an excellent game of football. Really entertaining, end-to-end. -end. And uh, we, uh, I see more goals in it for both us and the opponent, unfortunately. Tony is lethal up front, and we've got some good attacking players ourselves. So, more of the same. Let's be careful, but let's try and go and win it. Kelleher. He can play football, the boy. Your Irishman, Bellicott chap. Okay, done okay there. Done really okay there to work our way through this. Jeff Cott, is he going to get there? Oh, good save from Raya. Comes out and makes himself big again. That was a good chance for us. Oh, I'm going to hold off here. Asia, Blazovic. Down the right for Brentford. Back to Onyema. Working it into the middle where Jensen out to Tony. Britain gets a toe in. Away it goes. Well done, Bellicott chap. Well done. Let's keep going. Boy, Leko, get there. That's nice, that. Oh, Vicino, that is beautiful. Oh, that's great. Defending from good. This is such a good game right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tony's going to be in too much space here. And Buemo. Is he going to try himself? No. Second chance for him. On Yeka. No, and Buemo! What a save, Kelleher. It's a corner. I can't believe he was onside. But Kelleher's made another great stop for us there. I mean, he's, he's it was his mistake for the goal. But other than that, he's been really good. Dobson comes forward. Ah, he's given the ball away on Yeka. And Buemo. Dangerous player to be running at you. He slips in, Tony. What a save, Kelleher again. Again. I repeat, Kelleher has been unreal other than the goal, which was his fault. But yeah, it could have been like four or five goals for Brentford today if it wasn't for Kelleher being on it in every... Oh, yes, Tony's going off. I'll take that. Ivan Tony off. And I don't know who this is coming on. It began with P. Pisilek, I thought I saw. Presley. I was a bit quite far off there, wasn't I? Close enough. All right. Oh! Good save from Kelleher again. All right, let's send this forward straight through the middle. That's exactly what we want. No. Chipped by Cresswell. Out away from danger. Dobson for Vicino. It's a really good ball. Get there, Leko. Who's injured? Apparently, Jeff Cott's injured. All right. I'm not going to risk that worsening. So we're going to get Maggi on. And... I think that's all we're going to do for the time being. Right, the sub is happening. Maggi on for Jeffcott. We hope and pray, keep your fingers crossed, ladies and gents, that that Jeffcott injury is not a long-term one because he's just coming into form, really. Um, luckily, we did sign Maggi in the, su in the summer. Yeah, not the winter. And he looks to be a good alternative up front. 
Oh no, we've given the ball away, please. Oh, Belakotchap saved. Oh, bacon there. Okay, Britain, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Play one up the wing. Are we going to get there? We're not. Forster Kasky not fast enough to react. Okay, it's been all Brentford in the second half. It really has. I, I, I'll be happy at this point to weather the storm and take the point. Here's Blazovic. He's done me again. Oh, shit. Okay, I think that's going to be it. No, no, no. Janelt. Please. Please keep this out of the net. Please keep this out of the net. And Buemo. Please keep this out of the net. No, oh, it's in the ball. Please, ref. It's been four minutes, you little piss taker. <sighs> is that full time? It is. That was all Brentford second half. I'm not going to lie, guys. What a game. Very entertaining. We had our moments, but it was mostly Brentford who dominated that. And um, yeah, you would expect as much when they've just come down from the Premier League. And they are a very good little squad for this for this league. Um, so yeah, 50-50 possession. I actually thought that they would have had a lot more than that. Let's have a look at our player performances as we see yeah, Bella Kocap, our man of the match. He defended so well alongside Kolozashak, who doesn't get anywhere near as good a rate. And Britain played well. He did. He has the tendency to do this wet paper towel stuff that I keep referring to, where he just like, he's, he's just not strong enough. Like he just touches the ball. He just sort of like actual flimsy and then the, the the opposition attacker just knocks him out of the way and takes the ball off him it's really weird uh, Leko had a good game one goal for him of course Maggi didn't play very well when he came on apparently uh, but overall it's a solid performance and it's a point against relegated Premier League opposition in our first season up in the championship I'll take it so it's time to find out how long Jeffy Cott is injured for five days we'll take that a bruised shoulder is manageable um, what games have we got coming up now, guys? I might sim a few. We're eighth in the league now. We've got Barnsley away. Burnley at home is going to be very difficult indeed. Should we have a little sim fest? All right, let's go up to the Forest game. And we'll sim three games. Just to tell ourselves, we're simming three games. It's a 2-1 win against Barnsley. So that's a good way to start. A 2-1 loss to Burnley... That's, that's all right. I mean, they're a great team. Okay, we're going to pause ahead of this Nottingham Forest game and we're going to sim it just to end the episode off, guys, so we can have a little bit more control. And it's... Uh, I mean, if we win, we might creep up into the top six, maybe. We're there two points off of... Oh, sorry, one point off of uh, Watford in six there. So if uh, Stoke and Watford drop any points and we win our game, could be looking good for us at the end of today's episode. And we put Craig McGilvery back in goal. Both of our keepers on good form now. Uh, Bella Kocha up to what I call the Premier League rating of 75. And we've also seen Kirk on the left wing raise his rating up to a 75. He's plateauing a little bit now. He still has room to grow. He's still only 24, but I think the next one said like 60 weeks before he gets to a 76. So with a bit of good form, Kirk can shorten that down and he can improve. Um, dynamic potential can kick in and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, we're going to go in like this, I think, and see how we could do against Forest here. Let's get the revenge for that cup humiliation. First chance to Forest in the box. Oh, good save, McGilvery. Would Kelleher have saved that one? Who knows? Corner. Fizzed in. Good tackle. Oh, it's all Forest so far. Here's our first chance of the game. Here we go. In the box. Kept, keeps it in as well. Oh, what a goal! Worked between Vicino and Jeffcott and someone else on the left. Potentially, potentially Cresswell or Kirk. And we've scored it through our talisman this season, Luke Jeffcott. Wonderful. 36 minutes played. Corner ball. In from Vicino. Doesn't really beat the first man, but we still have the possession. Onto the edge of the box. And Forster Kasky is out for a corner. Let's take the second corner, then Vicino. Do better than the last one. He doesn't. Near post again. And this time away from Forest. Okay, we're all on sevens as we approach the second half. I'm thinking maybe to just skip this one at half time. Um, we've got the one goal advantage, which is dangerous. But we've got the personnel to be doing really well. So I'm actually going to jump to a result where we get a 2-1 win. And Leko on the score sheet as well as De Costa in the dying minutes of the game. Great performance from us. The defence not so much, but our attacking players did superbly well there. Uh, including Kirk did really well as well so that is the last game of today's episode guys let's have a look at where we are in the table at the end of the episode today so seventh place for charlton one point out of that top six watford bristol city west brom brentford burnley bournemouth 
all massive championship clubs who have their own right of trying to get up into the Premier League, of course, but we are going to fight them until the very, very end to get into that top six somewhere. Um, it's been a decent season for us so far. I had some frustrations at the beginning of this episode and most of the last episode where we just struggling to play the actual game, but, you know, we've picked ourselves up and, you know, the, the squad we're building, oh, Vicino up to a 79, by the way. That is good, isn't it? We're, we're, we're getting there. We really are getting there with this squad um, and, I'm, and I'm enjoying it. So, guys, I've just seen that I need to swap Kelleher out for McGilvery as well. So let me know if I don't do that in the next episode. In the comments, remind me. I'll try and remember, though. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the four channels of Red Vibe. Hope you're enjoying this series, guys. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, so that's it from me today. Take care. I'll see you later. Love you, gang. Love you, gang.